Hi, today I'm going to show you how to analyze your data if you have multiple number of samples. So we're going to start with opening the terminal window and we're going to go to the directory which is called test data and inside this directory I have a raw folder with three samples. Each sample consists of a pair of FASCU files. Now, I've already shown you how you can use my XCR analyze command to work with a pair of FASCU files. And obviously, you can use the same command three times in a row and analyze three samples. But what if you have hundreds of samples? That would not be that efficient. And today, I'm going to show you how we can use the tool which is called GNU Parallel. I'm going to put the link in the description to analyze any number of samples in one single line command. So we're going to start with listing the files in the raw folder which have R1 in it. And you see we have three files with R1 and the idea behind what we're going to do today is that we're going to use that list of files and pass it one after another to my XCR analyze command. So I'm going to type list files and I'm going to put pipe and that symbol means that the output of the command on the left, which is the list of files, will be passed down to the command on the right. I'm going to type parallel echo my XCR software which is the folder where I have my XCR. Analyze uh, the name of the preset. And now I have to provide the names of the input files. So the first file, the R1 file, we take directly from that list that we passed to parallel. And we can do that by using curly brackets. To provide the second input file, I'm going to use the same curly brackets and I'm going to substitute R1 with R2, which means that in that string that we have here, which will be passed down to parallel, we will substitute R1 with R2 and that's how we will get the name for the second input file. And finally, we have to provide the output directory and the output prefix. And we, again, we're going to use the same curly brackets and we're going to substitute the raw folder with the results folder. And also, to create the prefix, we're going to trim everything after underline R. So we'll have only that part of the file name as a prefix. And I can close the quotes. And now I'll hit enter. And because we had echo here, instead of running these commands, parallel prints all the commands that it's going to run. Now that is a really good practice and I really recommend you to use echo every time you want to use parallel before actually running the command so you can check for any typos or any mistakes that you might have made. Now to run these commands one after another I just have to delete echo and then I also want to use two parameters. The first one is minus J which sets the level of parallelism. Because I work on my home laptop I want to set it to one so the samples will be processed one after another. If you work on a more powerful machine you can set it to three and then all three samples will be processed simultaneously and it will take less time for the analysis. And another parameter is called minus line buffer so we can see the progress in the standard output. Now I'm just going to hit enter and the analysis has started.
Now the analysis is complete and we can check the results folder. And you see that we have all the output files for every sample in our dataset. Now that's it for today. Thank you for watching.